Hot Love from Love Healing Hearts. Here to share with you about warning dreams. When God wants to warn us <clears throat> about either demonic strongholds or dangerous times in our lives when we can really slide down a slippery slope past the point of no return. And I'm telling you, in these last days, there are going to be a lot more warning dreams, saints. So get ready. There might even come some dreams to people who have not quite come to God but are approaching for the sake of others, for the sake of rescuing others out of dangerous grip. Now, here's a dream I had many, many, many years ago. This was before I dated <clears throat> my, my second husband, which was my dream. And he's, he's with the Lord now. But the dream I had involved my best friend. Back then, she had gotten saved maybe a year before I did. And we became very, very close during those first three years of our salvation. During that time, uh, we became acquainted <clears throat> with a third party that went to the same church. And God gave me a warning dream about that person. I'm trying to be very careful about how I dish out the details. In case anybody who knew me in the past sees this video, I don't want them having the slightest idea of who I'm talking about because I'm not trying to slander anybody's name, alive or dead. Now, I dreamt it was a very, very dark night. The moon was full. And this person got up, buck naked, walked over to the windowsill and sat and stared at the moon. And it just seemed so weird. The night seemed to have a very eerie atmosphere to it, an eerie feeling. It wasn't a positive <clears throat> or fascinating eerie, very uncomfortable eerie feeling. Okay, so the next thing that happened was the person began to move from the window into another room. And before you knew it, I was shocked at what I saw. I was looking, saying, what is he doing? And this person was literally smearing feces all over his body. Feces. If For some of you who may not have heard of that word, feces is human waste that comes through the back door. <clears throat> yeah. You know, when you go to the bathroom and have a number two, okay. Well, that's what he was smearing all over his body. It was like he was in a trance and he was just smearing and rubbing and spreading it everywhere like a person puts on suntan lotion. That's what this was. It was feces instead of suntan lotion. So what we ended up doing was my friend and I started getting washcloths and sponges and gloves and buckets and soap and water. and We started trying to wash the feces off. And it was almost as if this person had no idea they were smearing feces all over their body. It was as if their, their mind was fried. I don't know what the situation was. It was a very weird dream. It was a very weird thing to do. So when I woke up, oh, excuse me, before I woke up, I dreamt the next scene, he was standing at a street corner and the street corner was foggy and the only thing you could see was the tall lamppost and him standing right up against the lamppost in a very dark, eerie night where nothing else was happening around. He was just at the corner by himself. And all of a sudden, these guys come up to him. I mean, it almost had the feeling of a slithering snake, a couple of slithering snakes slithering up and, 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 and uh, charming 
him into paying them attention. And he stood there and they're putting their arms around his shoulder and buddy buddying up to him and 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 the smooge and I mean it was really, really weird. But I knew that those people were up to no good. And I knew they were there to use him and play him for a patsy. So I tried to get his attention in the dream to tell him to get as far away from those guys as possible. I could not. Now, let me tell you how God confirms, excuse me, my back is itching, how God confirms dreams. First of all, I found out that this person was involved in some stuff. <clears throat> And it was going to backfire on him. He was voluntarily getting involved with some friends of bad report. And he was so naive, he didn't realize how bad the situation was getting ready to turn. The next thing, all of a sudden, I hear people around the place where he works who knew him. And they were telling me, <clears throat> excuse me. You need to talk to him. You need to get somebody to give him counseling. He's hanging around a very bad sort of people, and they're going to bring him down if he's not careful. I had no idea. I knew nothing about it. But God had shown me in the dream. Now, I say that to say this. Even if you are in a backslidden condition, you don't realize how much God loves you. He is laying you on someone else's heart to pray for you, to warn you, to counsel you as a, as a form of protection. God does not want you to get hurt. Even if you have turned your back on him in anger or disappointment, whatever. God is love and God cannot contradict himself. He loves you good or bad. He loves you with it or without. He loves you in or out. He loves you on top of it or at the bottom of your game. He still loves you. He's more. He is the most loving parent that ever existed. And I'm telling you, he always was and always will be. So will his love. He says, I am married to the backslider. So for some of you who think you have gone too far, <clears throat> who think you have become way too dirty for God to want to be bothered with. All you have to do is call out to him, turn to him, seek him while he may be found. Please let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous his thoughts. Please turn to God with all your might, while there is still time. That's what I have to say. God bless you to make the right decision in time.